the frustrating one of the one of the very frustrating parts from an Irish point of view of all of this is that it injects a new level of uncertainty into what's going to happen in Northern Ireland mm. in the coming weeks. It did seem under under uh, Liz Truss's premiership that there was a softening of the position on the protocol. Uh, she sent out clearly sent out Steve Baker, a junior minister in the Northern Ireland office, and an ardent Brexiteer to apologise for his uh, harsh commentary on the Irish government's position. So it appeared there was some sort of a deal in prospect there. Talks have been going constructively between the European Union and British officials, but that now all stalls. Uh, the prospect of avoiding an election, uh, an assembly election in the North over the coming week, with that clock ticking to tomorrow week. The, the Chris Heaton Harris, the Northern mm. Ireland Secretary, uh, Secretary of State, has said he's going to move uh, the writ for uh, an election in the yeah. North next Friday, um, with an interim government or, or a care, effectively a caretaker government in the, inter in the intervening week, there's little chance of avoiding that now. Yeah, so this deadline now of October 28th to restore power sharing, how is that? that, that that's, not, that's simply not possible, right well, Louise? See, we've said the same thing consistently all along. Michelle O'Neill as First Minister designate stands ready to form an executive. What she doesn't have is a partnership with the DUP. So the DUP are uh, holding the people in the north to ransom. Uh, they, shouldn't be, uh, they shouldn't be doing that. They should uh, recognise what's happening. They should realise that people want the executive formed. They want, they want to see their politicians sitting around the table and working hard for them. That is what Michelle O'Neill has been trying to mm. do. Um, and the chaos, uh, to be honest with you, the chaos in, in Westminster only underlines for me and indeed for, for many others, uh, you know, the need for us to really ramp up the conversation about Irish unity because the solution to the chaos that is caused by the Tories and the chaos that it wreaks on the people who live in the north is Irish unity. That conversation has started and I think uh, it's accelerating at pace. I think people are interested now yeah. in an alternative uh, future. But on, we can't lose sight of the fact that the people in the north voted to remain, right. they voted for the European Union. Yeah, I, Henry, I, don't, I, actually, in there. I actually don't think that um, Westminster are interested in Northern Ireland. I think they're so busy, and they will be bit so busy this week uh, trying to find a new Prime Minister. Northern Ireland, again, has been forgotten, like it was during Brexit, uh, and it will go to the wall on Friday, and uh, there'll be another election up in the north, a Christmas election, and more than likely, Sinn Féin will win most of the seats, if I could say that, and we'll be back to where we started, mm. all because... Liz over there couldn't, I was going to use bad language, but I won't, couldn't get, couldn't get it together. Liz Truss really ever have the vision? I mean, that's, that's, no. that's the question there. You no, know, I, 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 that was one we, thing we that don't, We me. saw her sort of flip-flopping on policies. She would have been anti-Brexit, <laughs> Lib Dems. You know, she, she changed her tune. She sold the vision of the European Research Group, the ERG, the, the, the right of the Tory party. She just ticked their boxes. She, she was like a kind of a... Um, you know, one of those... Uh, um, I, I grew up with sisters who read comics, the Bunty magazine. They used to, <laughs> they used to be cut-out models that you could dress. And, and uh, she, she wore the clothes of the European Research Group. She wore the clothes of Boris Johnson, the wing of the party, yeah. the policy clothes. To, to, she, so she, she was their policy mannequin, if you like, and she didn't appear to have her own vision. Um, she appeared to be lack, completely lack empathy. Um, she was an extraordinary political figure. Um, and clearly the parliamentary party did not want her. Mm. She was beaten soundly in the parliamentary election. She, Penny Mordaunt came second in the first round of voting and Liz uh, Truss was, was far in her, in her wake. So I think um, it's going to be fascinating. The next, I, I don't see Boris coming back. I, don't, I think uh, you used the word disarray. I think Boris's yeah. supporters and the ERG are in complete disarray mm. of, after the last 45 days. So I, 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 he, he met, I'm not surprised that he wants it. I'm not surprised he's going to go for it. You can never rule anything out with Boris Johnson, but I think it's going to be between Rishi and Penny Mordaunt. Yeah, and, and, and on that, Louise, <coughs> um, uh, you know, be it Rishi or, 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 or Penny Mordaunt in that position, who do you think would serve the North better now? Can I be honest and say I don't think that the North will be served well by uh, whoever it is that the Conservatives choose to be their leader. Um, I, I think we are, we're talking about a, a choice between 
one person who will drop the north at a, at the drop of a hat and you know and, and completely ignore the people living there versus another person who will do the exact same thing it's a matter for the conservative party who leads the the, the conservative party but i come back to a point that barry made i think that we need to start that planning now in relation to unity we need to start the conversation mm -hmm. now because when the time comes to hold the border poll we want to make sure we're in the best position to win it so the time to start that planning i think is now and the fact that people in in the north are looking to Westminster. They see what is happening over there. And I think there is a growing appetite for people to take okay. their destiny into their own hands. Briefly, yeah. uh, Barry, no make hay in the, the chaos. Yeah, I've no, no, but I wouldn't put it that way. But I think what, what we have from Sinn Féin is not a conversation, but more of, of telling people that this is the only way to go and a, an imposition that doesn't consider the varied views from the different traditions.